Did you know with just three lines of code, you could change this game into this one? But hold on, don't pause this video just quite yet and try to remake the blocks on your own because I just made it 10 times easier for you. In the description of this video, there will be a scratch project with a sprite containing all of these blocks, so all you have to do is backpack the sprite for later. In this video, I'll be explaining how each of these blocks work, so you understand how to edit and use them properly. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, we have the fast bounce block. Basically, it gives the sprite a really clean and smooth bounce effect by changing the size. This number is about what size you want the sprite to be at, and this number is how much you want the bounce effect to be. A higher number will make it bounce more, while a smaller one will make it bounce less. Next, we have the slow bounce block. It does practically the same thing, except the bounce is a lot less intense, which is why it's a bit more fitting for a clicker. To adjust the size of the sprite, edit this number. Next, we have this turn effect block, and it's basically a mega crispy turn effect that goes back and forth. This number right here is the sprite's direction. This is my personal favorite for clickers because it's just so smooth and easy to incorporate into your game. Next, we have these sibling blocks, and both of them give smooth mouse following movement. As you can guess, the X block gives smooth X movement, and the Y block gives smooth Y movement. I use this Y block one a lot in dodging games like this one, where mouse following is key. It's also just really satisfying to look at. Oh, and uh, a larger number will increase the speed, and a smaller one will dampen the effect. Finally, we have the size effect block. This is probably the most common out of the five, but if you don't know already, I'll explain quickly. In a nutshell, when put into a repeat loop, you get the smooth enlargement or shrinking effect. This number is the size you want the sprite to go to. Depending on the size you want, you may need to make the repeat loop larger or smaller. I especially love this one because it's sauced for clicking effects. And that's pretty much it. If you want me to do another one of these videos, just like and subscribe. Something to tell me you want more of this content.